Hi everyone, this is a 120 scale note block and also jukebox. So let's slickety slack, crickety, get right into it. It's being powered by three AAA batteries connected in series for a total of 3.6 volts. The MP3 module runs off of 3.3. If I press the right, it will advance a note. If I press the left, it will play the note back. If I hold down the right, then the volume will increase. And if I push both buttons at once, then the volume will decrease. The left is play and pause, so if I press it rapidly, then it will pause the note until I press it again. So you have to wait till the note fully plays. I stuck the top on with uh, resin and closed everything up. Behind the disc is an SD card which is able to be put into an adapter and files can be uploaded. So here's the battery pack. In order to turn it off, you just remove the middle. And in here you can see that I'm using copper tape to make the contacts. And finally I have everything soldered straight on to the wires of the note block. In order to turn it on, you just place the battery back in and starts working. When designing the blocks, I'll try and fit the batteries in to the actual design. The speaker itself is pressure fit into this file, which is named 50 millimeter speaker. And inside is just a piece of speaker fabric in order to keep dust from getting in. The speaker is a eight ohm, one watt speaker. The DF player is only capable of driving a speaker less than three watts. This build relies heavily on being able to solder, so make sure you have a good soldering iron. Also, I recommend having flux core solder. Finally, the DF player and buttons themselves are pressure fit into the housings. And I've also melted a little spot so that it retains the DF player from moving. So here's a module up close. It's using a microcontroller and an amp here in order to get the output to the speaker and just a bunch of resistors and capacitors right there. In order to keep things simple, I'm using an add key provided by the microcontroller itself, which allows it to play a file. There's already one analog input, which will play the next file that the board supports. An add key uses one of the pins, and depending on what resistance is put on that pin to ground, will determine what code to run. Here I have 30,000 ohms of resistance going down to ground when the button is pushed. So with this resistance connected to the pin, and once it's connected down to ground, the microcontroller will register that as a play or pause function. By using this, you can play the current file and you can also pause the current file. The other button here is connected to the pin right under the add key pin. And what this pin is able to do is play the next track. So now under the play next pin is the ground pin. And so the ground pin is connected to the other side of the buttons in order to ground the other two pins once the button is pushed. Over here on the top right is the power in or VCC. When hooking up the speaker, if it's only one, you hook up one wire to the most bottom right. Above the pin is a ground wire for the power input. And above that ground is the next wire for the speaker. Finally, for printing, there is some rattling that is caused due to the body being hollow. 
go here right here so you can hear some rattling if I hold down the sides the rattling will go away and the sound will clear up but if I let go the rattling comes back so some ways of reducing this would be by printing it with a hundred percent fill or you could also just use resin it also depends on what speaker you're using so this is a bigger kind of speaker so it's moving a lot of air if you had a smaller speaker it might not even rattle so here i am mixing some resin or pour into the gaps and close everything up So it seems that the rattling comes from up here and not actually in these layers since these indents connect both of the sides together. Alright, so hooking up the multimeter, it constantly draws about almost 25 milliamps when it's running. You can see it jump up to 50. Now when it plays a song, it's jumping within the region of 25 to 50 milliamps. Raising the volume to max, we can see it hit 50 more often. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. And thank you for watching.